moving your head just or your ear to your shoulder, your right ear to your right shoulder. Slowly, everything's at the count of four, and nice deep breaths. So as you inhale, slowly tilt the right ear to the right shoulder. And as you exhale on a count of four, slowly tilt the left ear towards the left shoulder. Again, most of these exercises repeated four times will make you feel so much better. It's important, again, not to overdo it. Start with some of the exercises and slowly add more exercises. So we've got the neck and shoulder area. Stretching is great. Just clasping the um, hands together in the front of the body with the arms stretched out. Inhale, raise them up as high as you can over to the head. Exhale, bending from the waist, slowly reach over to the right side. Inhale and hold. As you exhale, slowly bend to the left side. Inhale and hold. And then exhale, bring the arms over the head and back down in front of the chest. Nice, easy stretch that you can do while you're seated. So there's other exercises you can do. And as I mentioned earlier, more people fall and break their hips due to weak ankles. So ankles are really important to exercise and work on. And as simple as always sitting in the chair the same way with your sitting on your sit bones with your knees, ankles, and hips in line. Slowly raise your ankles up off the floor, keeping your toes on the floor, and bring them back down. Everything is done very slowly and controlled. So inhale up the ankles, keeping the toes on the floor, and exhale down. Doing that four times, you're using the muscles. You will probably feel the calves. Then bring the toes together. Heels are open. And again, bring the heels up nice and slow, and exhale the heels back to the floor. You'll see how it feels just a little different. You're using different muscles, but again, strengthening through the calves and ankles. Then, after four of those, bring the heels together and have the toes open. Again, inhaling up, bring the heels up. And as you exhale down on the count of four, you will feel the calves and ankles. The muscles are being used, again, slightly different. So that's a nice, simple, easy exercise that you can do to, one, increase the blood flow of the legs, and two, help strengthen the muscles in your ankles, which will help if you're walking down the street and you lose your balance. Instead of falling, your ankles will be stronger. So you'll be able to fight that falling that much easier. Nice, easy things that can be done just seated in a chair. Now, strengthening the upper legs, climbing stairs is something I hear so many people say they wish they could do easier. And a lot of the time, it's just strengthening the legs. So seated in your chair again, back at your starting position. By slowly pointing the toe and bringing the leg straight out in front of you without locking the knee, and then bringing the foot back down to the floor. Count of four up, count of four as you exhale back down. You're working the muscles in the front of the legs, your thighs. And by doing this, again, you've got the blood flow. And by using the muscles, you're starting to strengthen them. Now, if you flex your foot, which means your toe and heel are in a straight line and your toe's facing the ceiling, if you flex up and come back down, again, you're going to work more of the back of the leg. So these are nice, easy exercises that you can do very slowly, very comfortably in a chair at home to help regain the strength and mobility in your legs. Now, getting up out of a chair is often difficult. And what we happen to do is usually we bring our feet back so they're not in line with our knees. So sitting on a chair and holding on to the back of the chair, if you practice getting up and then sitting back down with the knees in line with the ankles, and by doing this, you're using the proper balance, you're using the proper muscles, and you're strengthening your thighs and your hamstrings. So you're think strengthening your legs, both the front and the back. And you're helping your knees to get stronger. Easy buildup from there is if you're watching somebody load the dishwasher or if you're standing at a counter, holding on to the side of the counter with your legs directly underneath you. Knees are nice and soft so they're not locked. Making sure you're holding on. You can come up onto your toes. And again, exhale down. So instead of just when you were sitting, you were using the lower body weight. Now you have your entire body weight. So as you get stronger, you can add more weight, which 
help with more muscle control, which will help strengthen the muscles that much more. And again, you can do the heels together and then the toes together like you did when you were seated. So just building on to other exercises. And standing up and holding on to a chair or holding on to something very stable, making sure that the leg that you're standing on, the knee, is soft and not locked. You can slowly pick the leg up for the count of four and bring it back down. And take it to the back for the count of four and bring it back down. And to the side for the count of four and bring it back down. These are all simple exercises that you can do at home holding on to a chair or seated in a chair that will help you regain your strength and mobility. Now what about upper body? Again, we can do all of the exercises seated in a chair, which is the most stable. Um, sitting on a ball or standing up to do them, you're not always in proper posture. And we want to make sure you are in po proper posture. So sitting on your sit bones with your knees and ankles and hips all in line. Nice easy exercises you can do. A bicep curl, working the front of the arm. Having the arms at your side, you can just bring your arms straight up, keeping your elbow attached to your side without raising it up and back down. All exercises are done for the count of four. So nice deep inhale and exhale for the count of four. Also, arms to the front to the side. Great work for the shoulders. The shoulders have been tired because they've been sitting in a, in a protective posture. So just holding the arms at your side, right beside your thigh, slowly as you inhale, bring the arm up in front of you, and exhale, bring it back down. And then to the side. You can take the arm out to the side of your body for the count of four and bring it back down. By doing these exercises, you're strengthening the muscles in the shoulder. And if you can't, you can also go with both arms over your head. But this will also increase your blood pressure. So if you're having blood pressure issues, keep the arms below your neck, below your shoulder. Don't lift the arms up over your head. One of the exercises that I find uh, most of the people that I work with like the best is just getting a sock that's full of beans and make it about half a pound to a pound. And just using that sock and transferring it side to side from one hand to the other, it feels really good in the hands. You're using the fingers, which will help with turning door handles, which will help with opening containers. But you're also increasing the blood flow through the upper body, which is very important. So you can make one of these socks very, very easily, fill them with beans. Um, or buy a nice soft ball and just pass it back and forth and be able to squeeze with your fingers. And this will help with the muscle control in the upper body. You also want to work the triceps, the back of your arms. And there's different exercises you can do seated in the chair, just lifting your elbows up behind you and then straightening your arm and then bringing it back in. Again, count of four. All the exercises need to be done very slowly inhaling and exhaling. If you can't remember when you should inhale and when you should exhale, it doesn't matter. The main thing is that you're breathing, and you're breathing nice and slow and controlled. Never hold your breath when you're doing any of the exercises. Now, once you are able to um, do all the exercises seated that you feel really comfortable, a lot of the time then it's the stretching issues. I've gone out for a walk, I've come back in, and how can I stretch? Well, there's a lot of exercises that can be done, again, seated in the chair. You don't have to get down to the floor. So sitting in a chair, just nice and easy, crossing one leg, as long as you don't have any knee or hip issues, cross the leg so the ankle is sitting on the knee and leaning forward. This will help stretch out the lower back, and the thighs. As well, putting one foot straight out in front of you with the toe facing up and leaning forward will help stretch out the back of the leg, the hamstring, which is affected a lot of the time after you've been walking. You're usually, if your hamstrings are tight, you'll usually feel some lower back pain. So you want to make sure that those hamstrings are stretched out after you're walking or and after any activity. Different exercises for stretching can be done by bringing the arm, one arm across the front of you and clipping it with the other arm and bringing it in just to stretch the shoulder. 
reaching behind so your elbow's facing the ceiling, and bring that arm back. 